Hey guys, James here. Today I'm going to be reviewing the 56 volt electric chainsaw by Ego. Okay, so when you first get the tool, there is a little bit of assembly. On the side here, you've got this little paddle that you open up, which then exposes the chain and the little sprocket. And you've also got this mechanism up here for tightening it. So if you wind this back, it should loosen the chain off, which will then allow us to pull the whole arm and the chain off the bar there. So then it's a matter of popping it back on. The assembly is pretty straightforward actually. Now with the chain, there's some arrows on them. If I do a little bit of a close up there, you may just be able to see, you wanna make sure that they're running the right way. So we'll pop the chain on, slide it over, get it over the little sprocket at the back. And then once you have that lined up, cover back on. And before you fully tighten it, you just do it hand tight. And then it's a matter of re-tightening the chain down the bottom here. Just obviously make sure the battery's off when you're playing around with it. Pop the battery in, and then you're ready to go. Now the next thing is really just to fill it up with a bit of bar oil. Okay, so the last thing we need to do is just grab a bit of bar oil. You got to see the saw in action. Now, I must say, I'm pretty bloody impressed with this thing. I've only ever used the petrol powered chainsaw before and I wasn't sure what to expect from the electric one, but blew me away. This thing is bloody powerful, so very impressed with how the saw went. Um, some of the pros and some of the cons, I'll run through that now. One of the positives, you've got a pretty good cut here. You get about 350 millimeters out of the length of this chain. So quite a deep cut on the saw. Another advantage is obviously with the electric versus the petrol powered. There's no mucking around with mixing fuel or trying to get set up. Basically, let us pull the trigger and it's ready to go. Whereas with this thing, you're talking about finding your fuel drum, getting your two stroke oil, mixing it up. Fuel tends to sort of go everywhere when you fill these things up and then trying to get it to actually kick over. That is a major selling point and a major plus for the electric saw. The only real disadvantage I can come up with here is probably just the, the size of the petrol powered version versus the electric. It is a little bit longer in the base, 320 millimeters in the actual base of the saw from the handle to the front. So it's about an extra 100 millimeters. As far as weight goes, almost identical. I can't see any real weight difference in that. All right, so there you go guys. A couple of positives and only one real negative. And for me, again, it's only a negative if you're climbing up and down trees and you're trying to chop limbs off on a day-to-day -day basis. For most people that are just out there sort of you know, cutting firewood, that's not really going to be an issue at all. Good thing about it is if you're out there chopping firewood, and here in Australia it's the perfect time of year, we're coming into that cold season, you don't have to lug around the fuel can and the, and the oil to mix it all up. A couple of charge batteries and out you go. You're good as gold. So there you go, guys. Hope you enjoyed the video. If you have, give it a thumbs up. Like or subscribe, I'll catch you next time. Cheers.